So we got the Jaguars going up against the team that I love to hate, Washington. And I really don't want to say their name because it's terrible and they need to change it. Um, yeah. They're both bad. They're both really bad. Um, yeah, really bad. Uh, <laughs> Washington, more because of the injury bug, given. They have lost two quarterbacks famously doing Joe Theismann impersonations. Uh, one on the anniversary of Joe Theismann's uh, famous leg-breaking game. Um, weird. Spooky weird. But, um, yeah. Then they follow it up with butt fumble, and now Josh Johnson? Really? I mean, guy hasn't started an NFL game since, what, 2011? 2011! I saw something interesting. Josh Johnson, um, last time he started an NFL game, Alex Smith was the starter for the 49ers. Mark Sanchez was the starter for the Jets. And Colt McCoy was the starter for the Browns. Weird. Like, a, they just got this nexus of other teams' cast-offs going on in Washington, and it's starting to get kind of eerie. I'm wondering if Josh Johnson's going to break his leg really weird in this game. Um, either way... Because of all of this carousel of injured quarterbacks that somehow hasn't included Colin Kaepernick yet, hint, hint, um, they're terrible. <laughs> they're really terrible. A Adrian Peterson needed a better team for his swan song. Uh, this might be the last chance we have to watch one of the greatest running backs this game has ever seen play well. And we're wasting it in Washington. Thanks, guys. Um, Jacksonville's not much better. They're not. They're really not. Um, they've been giving up in, in more recent games. They have benched their starting quarterback twice. Guy who was drafted third overall, not going to make it to his second contract, it seems. Um, yeah. But I will say their backup quarterback... Looks like he actually can string together some plays. He's not a starter. He's not a starter. He is a serviceable backup that can provide life when you have a solid defense and a solid running game. Oh, oh, wait. Jacksonville has those things. Yeah. Um. So as long as Doug Marone can make it so Jacksonville doesn't give up at the end of the first quarter, they're gonna win. They're gonna win. Because of all the injuries and everything that's been going on in Washington, they have so much against them internally, they have no chance against anybody. There is maybe one team in the league right now that I think Washington can beat. Maybe. Maybe. Um, yeah, they're, they're terrible. Even Jacksonville is going to make them look really bad. Fournette is not really stoppable by anybody. He is the closest thing we have now to Adrian Peterson was back in the day. Somebody who doesn't catch the ball at all. Everybody knows it's coming because he's the only person on the offense you have to worry about. But for whatever reason, people still can't. Stop him. Jacksonville has some serious injuries on the offensive line. They really do. They really do. Um, their defense will carry them in this game. Fournette will have one, two, maybe even three good runs just because he is Leonard Fournette, and they will win. So, I'm sorry, Washington fans. Pick a team with a less racist logo to root for this week. It's not going to be fun for you.